Hello, people who are not me, but who may or may not be better than me at this game. It is I, Sire Goku, and welcome back to more Secret of Mana. And I need a shorter... And I need a shorter intro. <laughs> anyway, I level grinded a bit off screen. As you can see, my sword is max level now. I maxed out on Fairy Walnuts for grinding because... I managed to get everyone's magic to level 4. Because, like I said, this is a very, very nice grinding spot. I also gained a couple weapon levels off screen, as you can probably tell. <laughs> uh, Alfred. What's her? Yeah. Uh, Lena maxed out the Halberd. Nice. As well as the Battle Axe. Um, Mark maxed out the Boomerang, which is very nice. Of it. Very, very nice. And I, of and Eric, of course, has maxed out the Sword. So let's see, let's swap some stuff here. And let's see. Eric's got the boomerang already, so you can't really do much about that. <laughs> I guess I'll give you fists, even though I hate them. I hate them so much. But you're behind on grinding for the head. But yeah, if you remember correctly, last time we defeated the Metal Mantis. After being dropped off in a frickin' trap hole. And yeah, this is, like I said, this was the grinding spot that I told you about at the end of the last video. This is basically where I stayed to grind my magic as well as my levels off-screen here. And, uh, friends are speaking to me online. Apologies for that. off so that that doesn't catch it again. <laughs> but yeah, see, if you beat them, they give you fairy walnuts. So yeah, I was grinding off of those guys. It's very simple to grind off of them, and in all honesty. And these knights, while they do have high defense, it, that's pretty much all they have. And they'll also cast Defender on themselves, giving them even more defense. Other than that, they're pretty simple. Making them pretty easy to grind off of, honestly. This whole castle is just like a grind fest. <laughs> There's really no excuse. But look, I already got 22 experience out of <laughs> out of all that, and it takes like no effort at all. <laughs> So 
So you're gonna gain about 22 weapon experience, which is very, very good. Oh, it's about two or four weapon experience. It's it's decent. I mean, the Embermen were giving me much more <laughs> when I was grinding for... Fairy Walnuts and the like. <laughs> But these guys are still relatively easy to deal with. Making level grinding not too bad in this part, actually. There, see, it's already up to 30. But these ninjas have Fire Sword, which is a pain. That's not... That's not saying much, but yeah, you can... Watch for that. <laughs> and now is just the standard walk around looking for switches, like every other dungeon in this game. Switches, switches, and more switches. There you got ninjas. They think they can hide, but they really can't. <laughs> Now the problem is this book. Lucid Barrier is a pain. So I say screw that. I'm not dealing with them. So many ninja dark ni okay, dark ninja, whatever. <laughs> They're still ninjas. They attack with swords and boomerangs. Have fun with that. They're not too bad. Their evasion is high because... Ninja. There we go. But if you have the boomerang, you can attack guys through the wall. So these guys are free experience for you. Ah, uh, not much else to say. So how are you guys doing as I am destroying these guys and pseudo level grinding on screen, even though I'm really kind. I am and I am not at the same time. Man, Bowser wishes he had this castle. Actually, no. This is Bowser has fancier castles than this. Especially the one in Mario Kart 8. Holy crap. <laughs> Like I said in the pr in previous recordings, I've been playing that a lot lately. And I'm sure a lot of you are too. <laughs> it's a great game. If you have a Wii U, I recommend picking it up. Well, we got beds. Unfortunately, we can't sleep in any of said beds to recover. I wish you could. It would make things so much better. There we go.
Unfortunately, I can't get that chest. Oh well, no big deal. Yeah, this kind of feels mazy, but it's not really that difficult to figure out this dungeon. Uh, you're gonna want to go... This is actually the only puzzle in this entire castle right here. Instead of going up that way, you're gonna want to come this way. And take this warp. It'll bring you to the other side here. If you try to go up from the other side, it's just gonna warp you back to the beginning. I know, dick move on the game's part there, but... You teleport over here, you come over to this switch, hit this switch, it'll push you back. Um, but, if you hit this, that'll turn the switch off completely and you can make it through. And now we're at the boss. See, that wasn't too bad, now was it? Hmm, guess you're the real thing. Sir, one more chance, please. Why not? Finish them up and come to the palaces. Now I reclaim my honor. And now we have to fight Gestar again. And he's exactly the same as he was before. <laughs> he's gonna cast speed up on himself. That's not gonna do squat to you if you're using magic. Which I am going to use, because at this point... It just takes too long to do it otherwise. Also, that wave cannon attack right there... That really hurts. But two or three thunderbolts and he goes down, no problem. That... That was a boss. Way to go! And you get a Javelin's Orb. More level grinding, hooray. But at least my magic's maxed out. I'm gonna burn up this whole place! We're finished! We're all gonna die! The castle's gonna burn up! What's that sound? Hello! That, that's Truffle! Holy shit, what's he doing here? Am I too late? You wanna know how I came here? By Flanny! He grew like a weed and started to fly. I didn't know what to do, so I just hopped on. Strange, but he thinks you're his parents. I guess he wants to help you. Take this Flammy drum. It's his favorite toy. <laughs> Use it anywhere and he'll come to you. Now, take me to Matango. It's to the southwest. And now we have our flying ship. And now we have this game's flying ship mechanic. Hooray! Oh my god, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> this is your airship! If you press... Start, you get to see... the world map. It looks terrible. <laughs> but this is... this is Flammy, your flying ship mechanic. You, you control him with the D-pad or control stick, depending on what game, depending on what version of the game you're playing. And you descend with B, and you go down with B. If you hold down A, you'll rise up. If you hold down B, you'll drop down. That's how you land at places. But we need to get to Matango. That's Gold City. We don't want to go there. Again, now the cannon travel is essentially useless. <laughs> Which is fine, because that saves us money. Oh, uh, that's not it. We want Matango. Matango... Is over this way. No. You'll know where you... You'll know when you're at Matango, because... Uh, you'll... You'll see when I get there. <laughs> That's southwest. I'm going southwest. I'll hit it eventually. Go 
old city. I don't know why. Hmm. Guess I'm gonna have to cut ahead. I'll be right back when I get to there. Oh, but before we do that, uh, no, that's not where I want to go. I do want to go to the Tango, but there's also an island. There's also an island we want to go to. If I remember where that is. I'll get to one of these places soon enough, viewers. I promise. It's been a little while since I controlled Flammy like this guy is naval. I've been passing it multiple times and not seeing it because it's part of the map I'm on. <laughs> that gold city. Here it is. You can tell that the yeah. Here you go. See these puffs of smoke here. This is Matango. There we go. I'll probably cut ahead to How did you like riding Flammy? That was fun! <laughs> when you get lost up there, use his special powers. Press start to see the map. L and R buttons change modes. You'll find the lofty mountains to the southwest. What you seek is there. Visit me again, okay? Yeah, the lofty mountains is exactly where we do need to head, head to next. And this is where the game gets... This is when the game's gonna start getting repetitive as all hell. But anyway, you just select the Flammy drum, <laughs> and it calls Flammy. Simple as that. There's a couple of things that I want to do first, though. Before heading to the Lofty Mountain. Do you want to come to this turtle-shaped island right here? More and alive than rich and dead? I would too, I guess. I'm from the Empire, the Empire's gone not to escape here, yada yada. I don't... Actually, this might not be the area I'm thinking of. No, I think it is. There's an item that you need to get. That they've been hinting at, that they've been talking about, but here we go. I'm not making it here. There's nothing on this blasted isle except these sea hare's tails. Eh? You actually want one? And we finally get a sea hare's tail. <laughs> We've been, if you remember, a long time ago. They, <laughs> if you remember, a long time. <laughs> if you remember, a long, long time ago in my let's play, there was somebody that wanted this badly because it's supposed to give you water. And thankfully, the village we need to go to is right over here. Welcome to Kakara. Because now... Oh, where's the guy? There's the guy we need to speak to. Of course, he's in the most out of way. It's a sea hare's tail! Hurrah! And now the desert village finally has water! 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 We saved! Somehow they survived re a really long time without water. In return, let me give you this belt. And for that, you get a Moogle belt! Hooray! Now what does that do, you might ask? Well, 
if you use it on yourself right now, it turns you into a Moogle. But, the important thing is, if you use it on yourself again, it changes you from being Moogle. No more cause for concern about being Moogle. Hooray! And there's one other thing we can get. Uh, where was that? Let me look it up real quick. Because lofty mountains can wait. That's going to be a different part altogether. Uh, Gaia's navel is where we need to go. Right, right, right. Uh, so let's go. F let's go find Gaia's navel. Should be right here, exactly. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Well, we can destroy the. We can destroy these guys, no problem now. <laughs> uh, but the reason why we're back here, per exactly is we want to go back to the Dwarf Village for another item. That is useful, even though I always seem to forget that I have it. <laughs> I believe you can come back and get this earlier, but... You're safe, somehow you seem older. Oh, thanks for dropping by. Take this mallet with you. That's what we used in the show. And we received a midge mallet. And Lena's spazzing out. <laughs> what that does is it... Whoops. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> uh, but midge mallet recovers you from... Well, being pigmized. <laughs> uh, but... I screwed up here. I don't want to be here. Hold on. Magic rope, help me. There we go. But yeah, magic rope. Uh, or, um, Midge Mallet heals you from being pigmized or causes pigmization on you if you wanted to. I don't. Uh, I wouldn't... I don't understand why you'd want to be pigmized, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> now, let's see... Now that we've done all that, uh, where's the last place I want to go before we... Yeah. Yeah. I think that's everything I need to do at this point. Yeah. So we will call this a video after it. Well... I mean, there's some... Yeah. There's another little place we can go, which is this lighthouse, but it doesn't do... it doesn't really... accomplish anything. So I'm just gonna head off to where we need to go, and I will... call it apart once we get there. That shouldn't take too long to get there. If it does, I'm just going to cut ahead, which... Nope! Should be right here. This is where we need to be. So... 
So we'll go there next time, because I'm going to stop for now, and I'm going to... I'll call it a video. Oh, this is the Witch's Palace. I don't want to be here. But anyway, yeah, I'll call that a part. And next time, we will go over to the Lofty Mountains, which is the next section of the game we need to go to. I will see you guys in that video. I'll see you guys then.